So when we talk about how the left really believes in their own under moral superiority, I mean, they really believe it. It's, it's really funny to watch their attitude toward vaccines because most of last year, the idea from the left was that any vaccine developed under Trump was unreliable. And then for years before that, in places like California, the idea was that woo-woo crystals were going to save you from things like measles, mumps, and rubella. Now, however, Trump is out of office and the Democrats say that vaccines are good, so vaccines are good. Not only that, if you are somebody who did not take the vax, it must be that you are essentially a Nazi. That is the case that Jimmy Kimmel was making on his show last night. His team produced an, a, a fake commercial from Mattel, anti-vax Barbie. And of course, it turns out that anti-vax Barbie does not have natural immunity or any serious questions about transmissibility. It turns out that anti-vax Barbie is just a Nazi because this is what people on the left think of their political opponents. You know, there's so much stuff to sell to these anti-vaxxers. And the folks at Mattel are no dummies. They made a mint over Christmas with a twist on what pro is probably America's all-time favorite doll. <laughs> There's a new doll in town, and the fun is contagious. It's anti-vax Barbie. She's strong. She's independent. She doesn't trust science. Bill Gates is the antichrist. Vaccines have Satan's blood. <laughs> Barbie comes with a computer so she can do her own research. Says here Moderna turns your teeth Jewish. Take your Barbies everywhere. Shopping. I'm sorry, you can't come in here without a mask. I have a medical condition. <gasps> oh, 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 I'm not okay, pause it there for a second. So again, the, the entire idea here is that, I mean, every single objection here is crazy. Right. If, if you said I have natural immunity, Barbie, that, that obviously wouldn't have the same effect. So the idea here from Jimmy Kimmel is that every single person who has not taken a vaccine believes that the that Bill Gates is putting microchips in the vaccine or that it turns your quote unquote teeth Jewish because you're actually a secret Nazi. Also, I'm noticing that in this little play acted skit in which the the anti masker walks into a store and is asked to put on the mask. It is the anti masker who goes crazy. Uh, most of the videos I've seen are kind of the opposite. Most of the videos that I have seen are people who walk into a store not wearing a mask and a person starts screaming at them and yelling at them. That's typically what I have seen. It's also what I've experienced. I mean, I recently was on a flight from New Jersey to, to Florida. And on that flight, I was eating some popcorn and the stewardess came by and she looks at me and she goes, you need to put up your mask between bites. I'm like, between bites? That's going to save us all. Between bites. You know, the, the people who are authoritarian here are generally not the people who are who are against masking. Most of the people who are authoritarian are the, the crazed pro-maskers. In any case, the propaganda continues. And again, the idea here is, is from Jimmy Kimmel, Captain Understanding and Empathy, that everyone who he opposes politically is, in fact, a disciple of either Adolf Hitler or Alex Jones or both. And you're going to jail to the stables. Thank you for sharing your medicine, dancer. Oh. And on the plane. Mm. And the only mandate this Barbie cares about is with her proud boyfriend, Ken. Hi, Ken. Want to go throw eggs at nurses? Sorry, babe. Can't hear you. Alex Jones is talking about monoglobal antibodies. There it is. All righty, stop it right there. That, that, okay, again, monoclonal antibodies are good. <laughs> when did monoclonal antibodies become bad? I mean, that, that's, they're, they're, they're bad now, even though Joe Biden has pushed them. Also, if you are a let's go Brandon advocate, like you think Joe Biden is doing a bad job, this means that you are an anti vax I, I wonder why uh, there is no racial diversity among the anti-vax Barbies here, considering how many black Americans are not vaxxed at this point in time. Uh, like I've noticed that it's only the people that Jimmy Kimmel wishes to, to castigate who appear in this. Again, the only reason I'm taking this even remotely seriously is because Jimmy Kimmel is a joke. Jimmy Kimmel is the woke pope of late night comedy who's violated every stricture of wokeness but has somehow survived because he's a lapdog for the Democratic Party. Uh, I, on, on a pure humor level, I'm just wondering what makes this funny. Like, it's not subtle. It's not interesting. It's, it's just a bunch of screed headlines taken directly from Slate and then plopped into a Barbie. Okay, but I guess we're supposed to pretend that this guy is funny. We'll get to more on this in just one moment. First, using the internet without ExpressVPN, well, that's like leaving your laptop exposed at the coffee shop table while you run to the restroom. Most of the time, probably fine. But what if one day you come out and there's just some weird guy who's looking at all of your emails? Or even worse, your laptop is just gone. Well, here's the thing. If you're leaving all of your information exposed, 
That is a problem. And this is why you need a VPN. Every time you connect to an unencrypted network, cafes, hotels, airports, any hacker on the same network can gain access to your personal data, passwords, financial details, etc. Hackers can make up to a thousand bucks per person selling personal information on the dark web. So why should you use ExpressVPN? Well, number one, it is super easy to use. Like check this out, right? Okay, so I just open up my phone. You can see the ExpressVPN app is right there. I open it up, not connected, but I wish to be protected. And so I hit that button and now it says connected and now I'm protected and it is indeed that simple. It is super secure. It would take a hacker with a supercomputer over a billion years to get past ExpressVPN's encryption. You can fire up the app, click one button, get protected. Phones, laptops, tablets, and more. You can stay secure on the go. I care about my personal information. This is why I use ExpressVPN. You should do the same. Secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash Ben Shapiro show. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash Ben Shapiro show. And you can get an extra Extra three months for free. Express at vpn.com slash Ben Shapiro show. Speaking of propagandists, MSNBC now has a new weekend host. You ready for this? Who is it? Who is it? Simone Sanders. So Simone Sanders went directly from being a press secretary for Bernie Sanders to being a press secretary for Kamala Harris to having a show on MSNBC. Now imagine if Sean Spicer had left the Trump administration and immediately been granted a weekend show on Fox News or Kayleigh McEnany had left the Trump administration and been given a full-on weekend show on Fox News. A lot of people would have been like, well, that seems kind of propagandistic, does it not? But apparently, if Simone Sanders does it, it's good and right and decent. I'm never going to get over the fact that the media have somehow turned George Stephanopoulos, an actual Hillary Clinton press secretary, into an a, a, in a political news anchor. It's just insane to me. According to Variety.com, she's the latest personality to join the NBC Universal-backed cable news outlet under a new top executive, Rashida Jones as executives seek to gain traction in new media spaces while facing turnover among some of the network's most familiar personalities. Going from the vicinity of the White House to a TV news gig is a well-trod path for prominent White House aides. That's the journey made by former Trump administration advisors Larry Kudlow and Kayleigh McEnany when they moved to Fox News Channel. McEnany, I believe, is a regular guest, and Kudlow had been a TV personality before he went back to Fox News. Others, like George Stephanopoulos and Nicole Wallace, have become fixtures for viewers at ABC News and MSNBC. By the way, notice the differentiation here. George Stephanopoulos is perceived as quote-unquote objective. Larry Kudlow and Kayleigh McEnany are not. But says Simone Sanders, I wanted to be at a network that had an already established record in the streaming world and would have a show on streaming and on linear and that and one that wasn't just an experiment. Apparently, uh, a bunch of MSNBC's newer hosts, including Mehdi Hassan and Ayman Moyeldin, also lead shows that appear on both the cable news network as well as the choice from MSNBC, which is an outlet on the streaming video hub. Again, the, the revolving door, they should honestly just forget about the revolving door and just give Jen Psaki a show. She was on CNN before. She was in the Obama administration before that. Why not just skip the middleman? Does she really need to leave the White House to just be given a show on the air? I, I, why? I mean, just, just get rid of the entire veil and just make it clear that the MSNBC team is a reflection of the White House. Why does there have to be some sort of, of iron curtain between working at MSNBC and working at the White House? We're in a battle for the culture and for our values. Like and subscribe to help keep our videos on the front line of the fight and top of your feed.